in the meantime, I'm sure you all be focused on Frank, uh, who is coming up next. Uh, one more time. All right. Are you ready? Do you have anything left in the gas tank? Oh. <laughs> I think he's using you. Hi, everybody. Thanks for inviting me to talk at your at your support group. Um, uh, I've really struggled, like many of you have over the years, in, in understanding that, you know, sometimes people don't like you for what's inside. They only like you for how hot your breath is. <laughs> and, and, and it's really tough. At night sometimes, I get those really hot mints and I eat them. <laughs> and it reminds me of you. I mean, it reminds me of, of, the, of the regular loved ones that I had before. And, <laughs> and you know, I used to feel really guilty about the, the fire and stuff and, um, because you didn't mean it. I know you couldn't control it, but but the great thing is is that science has come a long way, and we can now really embrace our dragons when they're the ones that we love. So you're wondering how this is possible. <sighs> I, I was I was backpacking through Nebraska in 2007. <laughs> Um, trying to understand like the dragon problem, a and I, I met a guy named Jed, <laughs> and, and Je Jed was your you know your, your typical Nebraskan gun dealer, and <laughs> he he reminded me that it's not always about you know it's not about you, it's about the person that you love. And I said, Jed, my grandma was a dragon. <laughs> she singed my grandfather over a game of euchre. <sighs> Not fair, grandpa. <laughs> well, it's a good question. So he actually has a website that says, dragonsforlovers.com. <laughs> this is the traffic that he has had based on how much cream he puts on his skin. <laughs> now, <laughs> interestingly enough, Jed's skin somehow irradiates a pheromone, pheromone, sorry, that uh, dragons are apparently attracted to. And as he moisturizes, traffic to his website goes up. <laughs> now, the key thing Jed said was, you never want to use an automatic weapon on an angry dragon. You're talking nine millimeter, 12 millimeter, maybe 16 at the most. Red dragons, 12 millimeter. Blue dragons, 16 millimeter. And <laughs> Halitosis dragons. <laughs> You're talking certs, sister. Certs. <laughs> now, I went from Nebraska to Wyoming hoping to find further answers. Jed sent me along. <laughs> and it was really awkward because everything in Wyoming is a little weird. <laughs> now, when I, I, I thought I would stay for a while, so I was trying to apply for a driver's license, and they give you a quiz at the top. <laughs> and if you answer incorrectly, they make you leave the state. The answer here is, which one would you like to be your lover? <sighs> I, I don't perform well under pressure. <laughs> um, 
I picked C, which was ironically the right answer. And the great thing is, is I got to stay and understand why Wyoming is actually full of dragons who are lovers. And it's something that you can't Google. It's only something that you can feel on the inside. And you know it's real when you look into the green eyes of that particular dragon and you say, do you have a mint? <laughs> Thank you for your time tonight. <laughs>